Okay, this sermon is entitled, The Logistics of Grace Through Faith. I'd like to open up with prayer. And then with a few verses, all right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 130 reads, Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? Now, the Bible makes it very clear that salvation is by grace through faith. So I'd like to go over this concept logistically and try to explain the mechanics behind this. Number one, grace is the means of salvation or the instrumentation or the instrumentality or the method of salvation. Faith is a non-meritorious channel. Now, the unsaved Calvinists, they try to make faith meritorious by saying that God gives people faith, whereas, according to the Bible, it's not the faith that has the merit. Faith is simply a conduit, or like a pipe, or a channel that allows us to receive God's grace. The object of faith is Christ. Turn over to 1 Timothy chapter 3, and this is where all the merit is. It's not in our faith. It's not in us. It's in Christ. In 1 Timothy chapter 3, it reads in verse 13, For they that have used the office of a deacon, well purchased to themselves a good degree, and great boldness in the faith, which is in Christ Jesus. So to be saved, you have to put your faith in Jesus, and what he did at the cross, he died on the cross, was buried, and rose again, and he completed our salvation. And then the result of grace through faith is everlasting life, that can never be lost. John 3.36, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And you receive everlasting life instantaneously at the moment of faith alone in Christ alone, and you're secure forevermore. So that's all I have. Grace is the means. Faith is the non-meritorious channel. Christ is the object. And the result of it all is everlasting life that can never be lost, abrogated, forfeited or taken back so that's all i have let me go ahead and close in prayer dear god thank you for giving us your clear word thank you for allowing us to see what it says bless the listeners i ask all this in jesus name amen